Tell us a little bit about you know, how long this process was, when did you come up with the idea, and how long did it take? We had, we had about a week of pre-production on this thing, so we kind of, you know, we, we had the idea actually uh, the year before, and we couldn't really talk to him about it, you know, because of some regulations or whatever. And we pitched him the idea, and he said yes, and literally we just turned the cameras on and went and didn't stop for like six months. And then the post process was about six months, so almost a year to the day that we started the project was when it aired. You spent a year or more gathering all this footage, uh, and for ESPN, boiled mm -hmm. it down to about 50 minutes. 50 minutes. So what's next? Are you going to use some of that footage for other things? Or? We have the DVD coming out that's going to be an extra like 15, 20 minutes on the feature, and then there's like an hour and a half of special features. There's a thousand hours of footage that we still have out there, so there's a lot of stuff still to see on this piece. How has that changed fiction, your company, that you have here locally? How has uh, doing this project and getting it on ESPN changed the face of that? Uh, you know, I think for us, it's really being able to uh, say, we're the guys that did this. You know, and kind of before we have, we work, we do commercial work and that kind of thing, but we never had anything that we could put our stamp on and say, this is what we do. And so this is that piece for us, and it really helps us out with, like, you know, getting in the door in places and talking to people. And a lot of people have seen it, so you can say, did you see the Tebow piece? And they're like, yeah, 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 totally. And so you can start conversations that way. How did the parameters that ESPN presented the year of the quarterback series, the fact that it needed to be under an hour, uh, how did that change what your original vision was? Because you would initially envision something longer, correct? Yeah, and, and I, we kind of came into the piece, I wanted to do a feature, and uh, I wanted this to be a theatrical release. And so I did all this research, or, or my team did some research, and you know, we kind of looked into it, and as far as like an audience and, and seeing, the, having the most people see this thing, ESPN was the right place to do it. And so it, it took a while to get there, but I think it was a good thing. And, and I was talking to somebody uh, about the numbers we had. I think it was 1.2 million was the first showing. And then uh, I talked to somebody at uh, Walden Media, and they said that that was bigger than the Narnia first day opening. Wow. So it's like, well, <clears throat> you can't beat that. So Tim, what is it? Compare for us um, the difference in your dealing with media now uh, than it was when you had this band of, of camera people. Well, I think um, every situation's a little bit different. You have to handle it differently. Um, with Chase and, and Matt and Tony and everybody at Fiction, I, I never even paid attention or never even thought twice about what I said or I was even joke with them or do stupid stuff. And, and that's why you would see some of that stuff actually made it on camera, like when I throw the football down. That's just because I was looking at Chase and, and just, you know, in a goofy mood and, and being funny and wasn't even thinking the camera was on. And so many times because, you know, so you, don't, you can't trust a lot of media and so you don't know what they're trying to get or whether they're trying to portray you in a bad light or something. So you always kind of have to be, uh, I guess, somewhat on guard and always, you know, thinking about how you could be perceived and... But with these guys, it wasn't that way at all. I just was myself the whole time. And, you know, I would make jokes into the camera, I'd laugh, and, you know, we'd just have fun with it. And most of the time, you're not able to do that, and I think that's what made it so much fun. Yeah, it's funny, because I would, I would consider us media, but not sports media, because it's, I don't know anything about football, to be totally honest. And, and so, he really has no so, idea. Like, it's good, though. I think that's part of what makes this, like, what it is, because it's like... I wasn't coming at it from a sports perspective, you know, I was coming at it from like telling the story. And I really think like it's bigger than a sports piece, you know, it's definitely like an interesting story in sports, it's just kind of the genre that it's under.